While hiking near Independence Mine in Hatcher Pass, I came upon a small flock of what I believe are white-tailed ptarmigan. The willow ptarmigan has the privilege of being our state bird. The white-tailed is the smallest variety of grouse, and it likes these alpine tundra areas. In Alaska, our alpine tundra zone begins at a fairly low elevation, around 3,500 feet, while tundra in Colorado begins at 11,500 feet. We have a lot of permafrost and cooler temperatures to keep our alpine tundra elevations low. These ptarmigan are like me. They don't like temperatures over 70 degrees, so they prefer to stay in these mountainous zones near year-round snowpack. That's what these ptarmigan were doing. There was still snow along the shaded mountain slopes nearby, which once again will not be melting for another year. Though the elevation of these snow patches was only around 4,000 feet, the shade of the surrounding peaks kept it from melting away all summer. When the ptarmigan get too hot, they roll in the snow. They will be staying here most likely throughout the winter, unlike other ptarmigan varieties, the willow and rock, which move to lower elevations in the thicker brush for winter protection. They don't fly much, so they can conserve energy, and when they move, they do so very slowly and sometimes seem like they're tottering. I believe they're just mimicking the nature around them, acting as a leaf in the wind, though they are above the tree line. They choose these large boulders, and in this case, rubble from the Independence Mine buildings, to blend in and block the wind. They nestle down in a spot that feels safe with protective boulders and immediately accessible food sources. These ptarmigan were pecking the alpines by Rhea, which seems to be a favorite. They also swallow grit to aid in their digestion. One of the strangest things I've read about them is that they relieve themselves almost 50 times a night in the winter. They probably already pick most of the crowberries around since they also enjoy fruit. They will turn white for the winter and they have feathers covering their legs and feet for extra warmth. Even the plants at alpine tundra elevations are extra hairy for insulation. Unfortunately, ski trails can disturb habitats of these birds, and I'm hoping they aren't affected by the nearby trails and snowboarding, snowshoeing, and skiing activity. I would like to visit them this winter and take some pictures of them in their pure white plumage, but they will probably blend in too well to even spot. Hopefully I'll see them again, because I think I made a couple of feathered friends while I sat in close proximity observing them as they observed me, quite acceptingly.